Hey guys, welcome to another Techtopia tutorial. This one is long overdue. Uh, it was requested a bunch. Well, not really. It was requested by two people. Um, Elite Muff Badger and Blitz and DDS. So, uh, or something like that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong there, but the links to their channel will be in the description. You can check those out if you want. But uh, this is their request. They want to know how to download and install fonts so that you can use them in Photoshop, Sony Vegas, Microsoft Word, whatever. So, that's what I'm going to show you guys today. And thank you guys for the request. So, uh, what you're going to do is just go to any fonts that you want. There's tons out there. Uh, the one I like to use is called thefont.com. Uh, but there's tons of others like 101 free fonts. And uh, uh, that's all I can think of at the moment. But there's tons out there, so uh, keep your eyes open. But here's my personally favorite font site. So anyways, this is the one I'm going to focus on. But the method is the same for every other website. Uh, don't buy fonts either because it's a waste of money and uh, you can get the better fonts and they're free not costing money so it's better just to get them for free it's a lot easier and uh, it doesn't waste as much time or money so uh, definitely don't buy fonts so if you do buy fonts I feel sorry for you uh, anyways uh, let's just push that aside and move on so here is the fonts homepage at the moment uh, it changes often they have new fonts like every week on the homepage and stuff and I like the font because you can uh, categorize each font the way you want. You can uh, look at the themes, the newest fonts, the top 100 fonts. You can even submit a font and stuff. So let's go to the top 100 fonts. Uh, this one is called Trash Co. I don't really like it. Let's actually change it. Let's go to Green Pillow with two W's. So I'm going to download this font right now. Once you find a font you like, just go to the right. There will be a little link hit there that says download PC slash Mac OS 10. So I just hit that little button, and as you can see, the font is downloading. Once it's done, just double click it, and here is your font folder. Now there can be tons of different uh, files inside of the folder. The two that you're going to focus on is an OTF file or a TTF file. Now um, there could also be a JPEG image like this, which basically just shows what it looks like. See, here's uh, an image just showing you a little taste of what it looks like. Then there's also a README, which is basically just uh, copyright and stuff. So uh, anyways, the ones you're going to focus on is a TTF file or an OTF file. A TTF stands for true type font and OTF stands for open type font. So what you're going to do is just uh, right click the font and you're going to hit uh, extract all. And then uh, choose where you want to extract it to. So I guess my documents will do fine, I guess, but it doesn't matter. You're going to hit extract. Then it's done extracting and then here it is. And now all you got to do now is right click the font and hit install and that installs it and there you go it's done you can now use it in Sony Vegas Photoshop whatever but that's if you're on Windows Vista if you're on Windows XP it's a little bit different so again for Windows Vista just right click the extracted font as you can see it won't work on this kind of font because it's not extracted so if I right click it I can't uh, install it because it's not extracted you have to extract it before you can uh, install it so then you're just gonna right click it and hit install. So that's what if you're on Windows Vista. Now if you're on Windows XP, all you got to do is right click and go to copy, which I can't really find at the moment. Here it is. Okay, you're going to copy the font and then you're going to exit all this crap. Now you're going to go to your fonts fo folder, which is uh, a little hard to find, so I'd recommend putting it like on your desktop or something. The fonts folder is located at start my computer, C drive, Windows, uh, fonts. And here is your fonts folder. All you got to do now is paste that whatever you copied, which is hopefully the font. If you didn't copy the font, it'll. Anyways, so I just pasted the font into the font folder, and now it is uh, installed, and there you go. So uh, as you can see, it's a little different if you're on Windows Vista or Windows XP. Quick refresher Windows. Vista, right click the extracted font, hit install, um, and then for Windows XP, right click the extracted font, go to copy, and then paste it in your fonts folder, which is again, is start my computer, C drive, Windows, fonts. So as you can see, I just installed that font, so now uh, let's just open up something quickly. My open up Microsoft Word, here it is. Now let's find that new font. What was it I inst installed? I think it was called Green Pillow, right? Here it is, Green Pillow. Let's uh, make it a bit bigger so you can see it. And then, uh, there you go. I just installed a new font, and it's pretty easy to do. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, 
if it works out for you, that's great. Post a comment if you like, rate it, subscribe. Anyways, uh, moving along, hope you like this little video. Enjoy. See you guys later.